Hello and welcome back to The Last Battalion. Today I thought I'd share with you my French light cavalry. These are all 28mm plastic Perry miniatures figures, um, all made using the Chasseur à Cheval box set, although the six figures at the front are meant to represent hussars, albeit in a campaign uniform instead, which is possible to do using that box set. And it went together very nicely, yeah, very nice set indeed. They're a little bit fiddly, as you'll find with a lot of the uh, Perry plastics, to just trim some of the flash from the straps, etc. But yeah, it went together really nicely, really nice figures. Uh, and as I say, I've used them to construct a variety of different regiments within what would be this brigade. So they're meant to be for the 1813 campaign, an August order of battle from Origi's 3rd Light Cavalry Corps. At the front, the 4th Squadron of the 12th Hussars from the 15th Light Cavalry Brigade, 6th Division. And then here at the back, uh, we've got three different regiments on display, actually. Just very small numbers of figures to represent them. So the two orange-faced units are the 4th of the 15th and the 3rd of the 21st Chasseur à Cheval. And then at the back with the red facings, we've got the 3rd and 4th Squadrons of the 22nd Chasseur à Cheval. And these are all part of Merlin's 13th Light Cavalry Brigade from the 5th Cavalry Division. Uh, the reason for doing this is because the order of battle that I'm following, at the time they didn't have large regiments of multiple squadrons, more the brigades contained a variety of squadrons drawn from different regiments, maybe one or two at a time, as was a much more disparate collection of units. Um, but allows for a good variation in uh, figure painting terms. So just a brief look at each of the units that I've painted here. This one is from a different brigade than the one I was originally working on, um, but I felt like painting something different for a bit of variation, and I think red came out quite pleasingly. So these are the 12th Hussars. Um, they were formed for that campaign from half of the 9th Hussar Regiment, because originally the 9th Hussars had been split in half, with one half going to Spain, and then the other half um, remaining in Northern Europe. But then when Napoleon was frantically rebuilding his forces, particularly his cavalry, for the 1813 campaign, um, the half of the 9th Hussar Regiment that was in Spain was returned and transformed into the 12th Hussars, for which this represents the 4th Squadron. Uh, and they came out really, really nicely. I went for all covered shakos on these ones. Uh, I absolutely loathe painting horses, but uh, I have to do it in order to be able to paint the riders. But yeah, they, they turned out really nicely in, in their red uniforms. And here we have four bases representing the two squadrons, the third and fourth of the 22nd Chasseur à Cheval. In the more familiar uh, red facings on the collars, cuffs, lapels, turnbacks, um, shabrak edgings, etc. Uh, there's one pair of figures on the end here that I did as uh, Elite Company just because. I thought it'd be quite nice to do and they came out quite smart with their epaulettes. Uh, and then moving down I, I tried to mix the figures up and made the ghastly mistake as you'll see here of posing two identical figures with the same heads next to each other, which I did not somehow notice until after I'd based them, which was excruciating because I always try and vary not only the miniatures on the individual base, but how they might be next to the other bases. So that was irritating. Um, and then the only uh, sort of command base that I did for any of these units with an officer on the end there and then the trumpeter in uh, reversed facings they turned out. They turned out well, I think. Um, actually, what's going to happen is that for the two orange-faced regiments, the fifteenth and the twenty-first at the back, I'm adding another pair of figures to each of those, and then four more figures to this regiment in red, because I realised that for the rule set I'm using, I hadn't quite um, added enough figures essentially to represent the relative frontage of the units. Um, but we'll. We'll, have, we'll go on to have a look at the uh, orange face units at the back as well, just to show a little bit more variation in the kit and painting style. And here we are. So we have the 4th 
a squadron of the 15th and third of the 21st. This is a good opportunity for me to use different parts of the kit, actually, because there's a really good variation in um, torsos, heads, headgear, etc. So one of the uh, regiments is going to be distinguished from the other due to the fact they've both got orange uh, by having a slightly more formal uniform uh, with the plumes on the elite company just because. Uh, and then on the other squadron, I've gone for the slightly more campaign look with the uh, portmanteau over the shoulder and the shako covers just to give them a bit of distinction between the two. You can't really tell between any of the three chasseur regiments which have got the Spencer and which have got the Kinsky coats, but that is also in there as a difference. And that's it. That's the showcase of my French light cavalry so far. As I say, I've got eight more to paint for the three chasseur regiments, and then that'll be the brigade as I want to represent it in 28mm finished. The only thing that needs to be added apart from that are I've got two different mounted colonels to go with the uh, regiments and then also a brigade command base of two figures. All those command figures have been made using spare uh, miniatures from the plastic set, including a, a head swap to create a, a colonel for the brigade command base and, a, and an opportunity for the elite chasseur accompanying him uh, to pop a coal pack on one of the figures, which is quite nice, and to give him a, a carbine at rest just to, again, showcase some slight differences in the kit. But uh, yeah, very pleased with them. Uh, and I, I hope you'll agree anyway that uh, masked up together and, and photographed like this, that they, they come out looking really, really nice. Yeah, they're really, really pleasing figures. I did mention it briefly earlier, but I don't really enjoy painting horses, if I'm brutally honest about it. I much prefer painting the riders, but uh, painting the riders would be... Uh, of little consequence if I didn't also paint the mounts. And I do get a certain something out of adding details to the horses, whether it's the socks or blazes or doing the details on the muzzles or eyes or so forth and, and that kind of thing. But yeah, not a huge fan of painting horses. And I know that some people are completely the reverse on that and very much enjoy painting horses and not the riders, but each to their own, I guess. Anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed having a quick look through these. Uh, more to come in the future. So we'll see you in the next video.